Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Grains. You know, I've posted pieces of this video before, but it is so important. If you're going to do a French drain and you're going to wrap it with fabric, please watch this video again. This is the only fabric that I've ever found that actually works. In this video, we will put together two different systems. One is using perforated corrugated pipe and the other is using perforated PVC. We will also add a GoPro down in the pipe so you can see how the system actually works. Let's start with the corrugated pipe. We're going to be using four inch corrugated pipe. It's perforated and it's slotted. That means it has holes all the way around the pipe. So you dig that trench and you lay out your fabric. We need to add a base of stone. This is very important. This goes under the pipe. Next we'll lay the pipe and then we'll go ahead and cover all of that with more stone, more gravel. The gravel is important also. Try to use three quarter inch to inch and a half stone. The best stone is number 67, and that is crushed, washed gravel. Next, we go ahead and lay the fabric back across the gravel. Cut it, trim it, and then pin it so it stays secure. Then finally, we'll go ahead and add our sod. If you cut sod off, we're gonna put the sod back on the top and we're ready to go ahead and test this French drain. Okay, so we've laid the sod back and I left a piece of it exposed down here so you can see it. I also have a light inside that slotted corrugated pipe. So it's perforated, has slots all the way around it and I put a light inside there. So let's go ahead and see what happens when we add the rainfall. During a rainfall event, water rises in your trench and it comes through at the bottom of the pipe. That's why there's a base of gravel underneath. As the groundwater rises, it comes through the voids of the gravel, floods up into the pipe, and the pipe carries this away. This is called a French drain. This is corrugated pipe and it's slotted. That means that there's holes cut all the way around the pipe. If you're going to wrap your French drain with a geofabric, I strongly suggest that you try this Stay Green. It's available at Lowe's, Home Depot, Menards, Ace, almost any hardware store. You might watch a lot of videos talking about 4 ounce, 8 ounce, double punched, all these things. Well, that's very expensive fabric. You know, I was never a believer in fabric until I found this Stay Green. I always found that the fabric actually slowed down the inflow of water into your system. And I have several videos showing you how slow the French drain works using this double punched four ounce or six eight ounce fabric. Now let's try the same thing with PVC. Let's build this PVC drain. A quick note, the duct tape on top of the PVC is there to hold the lights, allowing us to see inside the pipe. So we dig the trench, we lay the fabric across the trench and pin it so that it stays down nice and tight in the trench. The next thing we do is we add a base of gravel. This is the most important part of this system, is the base of gravel. That allows that water to flood up into the pipe and the pipe will carry it away. When you're running PVC pipe for your French drain, you'll notice that there's holes on the bottom. Make sure these holes point down into that base of gravel. So we've got perforated pipe, holes point down into the trench. I've got my light set up. Can you see I got my battery? And the lights are set up inside. We're gonna go ahead and cover this up with gravel. Now we cover the pipe with gravel, fold the fabric back over the top and pin it. Finally, we will add the sod.
Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.